waffle with homemade whipped cream, chocolate chips, and freshly sliced bananas. Baconator. Buttermilk waffle with bacon slices tucked inside, topped with salted whipped butter, caramelized pecans, and pure maple syrup. Waffle weekend brunches at the Chocolate Season. PB&J. 40th and Old Genie or online at thechocolateseason.com. Acres is bringing you the nation's largest indoor display of John Deere equipment and technology. Acres 2024 Ag and Turf Expo showcases everything from tillage and planting to application and harvest. We'll also offer the latest industry insights from ag professionals across the state. Join us in Grand Island at Fauner Park March 21st and 22nd. Go to acres.com slash expo 24 for a complete schedule of speakers and activities. At Fairway Meat Market, you're family, and as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now, through March 24th, enjoy Lincoln's favorite 8-ounce bacon-wrapped sirloin or 4-ounce fresh salmon portions for $3.99 each. Get ahead for your Easter dinner with Fairway Pit hams, fresh lamb roast, or ribeye roast. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center, just south of 84th and Van Dorn. Introducing the Outlet by Sarter Heyman. The Outlet brings you luxurious Sarter Heyman quality jewelry at unbeatable prices. Shop our expansive inventory of overstocked merchandise and a vast estate collection that just hasn't found its home yet. This is your chance to own stunning designer jewelry at a fraction of the cost. Elevate your style at the Outlet by Sarter Heyman, where luxury and affordability meet. Downtown at 12th and O or online at SarterHeyman.com. Hey guys, it's Bill Bush. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty has opened a new location in Pender, Nebraska, in addition to their office in Lincoln. The real estate world can be confusing, so why wouldn't you want an expert helping you every step of the way? If you're looking to buy or sell farmland in Nebraska, Kansas, or Iowa, give Ethan Sorensen a call today at 402-380-0432 or visit them online at nextagrealestate.com. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty with locations in Lincoln and now Pender, Nebraska on the block with Strick and Austin. Now to tie it back to Nebraska men's basketball, this group has a chance to do something that hasn't been done before. Yeah. You know, in making a run in the Big Ten tournament, a serious run, in winning the first NCAA tournament game, but they're not going to get there by doing the same things they've always done. It is on this team to step up and change that narrative. It won't change on its well, own. Teams won't lay over for you, and that's the mindset well, shift we haven't consistently seen yet. Weekdays from 2 to 4. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Mosaic is a nonprofit whole person healthcare organization that embraces God's call and relentlessly pursues opportunities that empower people with diverse needs to live their best lives. Mosaic in Southeast Nebraska, serving Lincoln and Beatrice, would like to invite you to their monthly Discover the Possibilities Tour events. Events are held on the third Wednesday of every month and are a great way to understand Mosaic's mission. To RSVP, please contact Melindy at at 402-429-0088 or visit mosaicinfo.org slash southeast nebraska early break with sip and jake we do not go quietly in the night on early break um we don't and we won't <laughs> is that our motto now a- <laughs> is that our show motto? Look at that. <laughs> we let you have that moment yes <laughs> We won't. We won't. We we don't. We and, and we, we won't. won't. <laughs> <laughs> we it's our new one. Yeah, I'm getting a t shirt. I want we don't go quietly in the yeah, night. That's we a early break with Sip and Jake from six to eight every weekday morning on 937 the ticket. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM first, 937 the ticket. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America. This is Old School. Sponsored by the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese. Broadcasting veteran Derek Pearson. When you find something that moves them, that makes them smile, celebrate it. That's your task. That's your superpower. Nebraska Football Hall of Famer, Jay Foreman. Rifles a pass. It was tipped. It's picked off by Foreman. He's at the 15, 10, 5. He'll score! On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up? We're in the building. Jay Foreman, DP. Austin's out here on the ones and twos. We are live out here. 
at uh, 68th and O Street, Buffalo Wings and Rings. But we are old school, brought to you by the Mercado, certified PMIT, special ingredients, the butcher shop, 84th and Havelock, 33 Yankee Hill, every type of meat, every type of cut. But like I said, we're out here at Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and O Street, the ticket. And all of our personalities are going to be out here uh, tomorrow included. We're out, we've been out here all day. Uh, we'll be out here all night as well uh, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can come watch out, watch all the games. You can watch, obviously, the first 32 today um, and the 32 tomorrow or the 32 games, 16 and 16, excuse me. The first 64 people through the door will get a ping pong ball. That's what happened today. You missed out. Uh, if your team ends up in the final four, you win prizes uh, like wings and, wings and rings, gift cards, and much, much more. Giveaway prizes every hour on the hour from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, no purchase uh, necessary. Anybody stops by will get a raffle ticket. Winner, whenever they sit down, prizes like appetizers, beer buckets, beer pitchers, cores like backpack, Budweiser, alumni, aluminum cap, Dr. Pepper prize pack, 97 ticket prize packs, and much, much more. Uh, man, guys come out. It was packed today. I don't know if you guys seen our social media, but uh, – on the ticket, it was uh, all the way around the around the corner, and it's standing room only. So, we'll be only get bigger and better. But usually on Thursdays, DP, yes, sir. It's usually Thirsty Thursdays. Kevin's not here, so we got to get out there uh, what he's doing. Uh, Meyer Cork and Bottle. They have their spring wine sale going on right now. Three priced wines are buy five get one free. Mix and match is accepted. Sale will go through April seventh. So that's awesome. Spring wine sale, Meyer's Cork and Bottle. Um, can't wait to have Kevin back in because I always, I always like seeing Kevin. Good dude it, it, as well. But, DP, we got through the three quarter, not even half through the first day. Not even that because it was the first tip off was about 11. You know, it probably goes all the way to what pretty much 11 tonight. That's the best thing about the, the first couple of days. It, it goes all the way to the night. What's your overall thoughts on the games we've seen? You know, I wanted to ask you about the Queen. It, uh, was it was it Duquesne, right? Uh, Duquesne. Um, I want your thoughts on that because Duquesne, um, to me, is that uh, it had, they have an interesting backstory. It's all the backstories are always pretty, always pretty cool. Everybody knows that about the, all the numerous documentaries of, of LeBron James at uh, his high school. His old high school coach is now the head coach. His best friend, Drew Joyce the third, is the first assistant. And if you watch how, if you watch how, obviously, when you have LeBron James in high school. But their team was a legitimate – it was the best team in the nation. If you watch how they played, if you remember back, you're like, man, they, they do have the best – one of the best players of all time. But they were an awful good basketball team. Disciplined, tough, run. Duquesne did that today to BYU. Even though BYU made a value comeback, uh, they had enough in the tank to pull it out. Yeah, these games – and I think the tournament generally sets itself to be this. How you finish – and how you handle frictional situations. Right. Like everybody's talented. Everybody's got yeah. a scheme that 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 works because we've seen it work. That's how you get to the tournament. It's what you do in those frictional moments at the end of games or when people go on a run. Right? Yeah. You 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 say that matchups make the make the game, right? right. Schemes and, and, and players. But what we notice now is who gets the ball late in games, who yeah. gets the ball. Uh, to end the run. So when sure. BYU gets on its run, how does Duquesne stop the run? How right. do they stop the bleeding? And Duquesne is, a, as you say, death by a, a thousand papers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They grind. And yeah. they grind. Just wear you and out. they grind. And then when you, have your, you get your second win, <laughs> it wears on you. Yeah. Because you don't have in the tank what, what you normally what you, have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's today has been informative watching Illinois currently struggling, grind. like yeah, struggling, like, like it's a grind for them. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask you about that. You right, you saw Illinois. I wouldn't say blow through the Big Ten tournament, but was rather impressive, uh -huh. right? Just shortly ago, Sunday they they end up you know obviously winning. Here it is Thursday. It was four days ago, three and, and they're going up against Moorhead State. Now, granted, they have a ten point lead. But I would say it's a smokescreen 10-point lead. They've been down by six points. So what I mean by that is not like Moorhead State can't get back into this game or possibly, you know, recapture a lead. But Illinois is starting to shoot really well. Talk. What is it about teams that you see 96 hours ago um, look 
I mean, we've seen it tons of time with Purdue in the past. We've seen it with other teams. What happens in those four days? Now, is it a style, right? Or you haven't, you're not familiar with the team? Um, you know, BYU, obviously, and I've seen Duquesne probably any, anywhere. They probably can't even find it. What is it about when teams match up against lesser known teams or they're the assumptive winner and then they end up falling flat in their face? You, you get officials that don't normally see you. Yeah. And all of that tendency talk that you have to deal with of what Shannon does normally. Yeah. They know what he does on the wing. They know what he does in transition. They know his go-to move. Right. So does Wisconsin. Sure. And they scheme accordingly. Right. And you play how you play. But outside of the Big Ten, they don't know you, nor are they scared of you. Right. Like, they're not afraid of you. Yeah, and it's just one game. Yeah, like, wait a minute. We got a dog. We're going to put a dog on you. Right. And we forget that the Duquesne's of the world have a different grind as well. Yeah. Like, that. it's never pretty. No. To play Duquesne. I've watched them against VCU. Yeah. Or the, that's just it is getting Dayton, how you live it. Dayton. Yeah. I, you know, that's just style of play. Right. So, to Illinois had to go to Dan Danger. Jane Danger is getting them, them through tonight. Yeah. Shannon's taking 15 shots. Mind you, he's got 21 points. Right. But it's Danger yeah. who's pulled them out of all those dark corners. Yeah. Uh, by making plays. That's what ha- That's what this tournament is about, is – when you get out of your comfort zone and people don't know you like that, you don't get the respect that you get. Tom Izzo jokingly said, yeah, we're going to do much better in the tournament because we don't have Big Ten officials that have access to grind with me. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, they don't know Michigan State. And so, oh, play the way you play. Yeah. And we know that Michigan State's style of play works in March. Yeah. So this is the time. Can you adjust? What happens when somebody takes away identity number one? Do you have an identity number two? And then can you stop the opposing team's number two? In the days, today's early games, it's the number two players who are dictating yeah. how, uh, the, the, the results. And I fully expect that to be the rest of the day. I want to ask you about a team that I, I think might be under the radar. Uh, even though Nebraska beat them at home, I, I just when I watched them, I felt like they're real impressive. Not flashy. But I think they, when you have a excellent guard, I always, I always say when you have a like a, a matchup problem at a three or four, and always are physical in the middle, I think that just sets up for March. You just mentioned Tom Izzo, Michigan State. That's who they've when they've had great teams, they've always had it. I want to ask you about Boo Booey in Northwestern. Now they're 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 playing Florida Atlantic last year, who had the three guard rotation with the big guy in the middle. I don't know if you've seen Florida Atlantic this year. Big man in the middle has either went to see Akeem Olajuwon uh, or a big man. I'm telling you. Shake him. Listen, shake him. he is a total different player. Now, one of their guards has is, is gone to the NBA, so now they're a two-guard attack, and so you're not surprising anybody. Right. They come in at the number eight, going against a number nine Northwestern. Do you think Boo Booey and company and Collins as the head coach have enough to get past, oddly enough, the more veteran team in the tournament in Florida Atlantic because they have it Final Four experience I think that's going to be a sneaky barn burner. You're going to like, man, if I'm, you're going to hear people talk about this game, mm-hmm. right? You want to make sure you watch it. Who are you picking in that game? Well, I like smart players. Right. Uh, in grind them out games, I like smart, tough players. By definition, that's Northwestern. Right. Well, that's Boo Boo. You've been there for right. like eight years. I, but I, <laughs> there's some points on the scoreboard before the game starts. Thanks to Chris Collins. Yeah. But I, I think on the li- on the short list of coaches I'd like to coach with and play for, yeah. Chris Collins is on that list. Right. So his ability to manage uh against uh a high low matchup, yep. he can, he does pretty well. Yeah. Um the moment's not gonna be too big. Here's an here's an advantage that's in play. Northwestern, the last time, three, two times they've been, uh, that I saw them in the tournament, they played in Salt Lake City. <laughs> they played in the Delta Center. Their alumni threw an event the night before round one, and then I checked this morning, they threw the event again. 
there were, you ready for this? 1,200 Northwestern alumni at this event last night. Wow. <laughs> they know the lay of the land. They know the building that they're going to play More in. More comfortable. They know the food they're going to eat. Right. And the fan base knows how to, how to get there. The, the, the administrators know how to move uh, alumni in and out of the space without taking up too much time for ticket and otherwise. Right. Yeah. It's a small advantage, but it's enough of an advantage for me to lean towards yeah. Northwestern. Yeah, I think Florida Lang snuck up on people by thinking when you have three guards that can really close out games, that's what you do. You got to be guard heavy. You got to be forward heavy. Um, I think Boo Boo is just going to be too much. Yeah. I think Boo Boo has enough size and strength to be physical what he wants. He has a little bit of a post up game, if you want to say, modern day post up game uh, in this new age of basketball. He hits free throws down the stretch, he makes the smart plays. And the one thing about Boo Boo, he hits big shots. Those are the toughest guards to to deal with is, is guards that can hit big shots. Another team I want to ask you about, DP, is I talked about it with uh, uh, with Austin there on the block, is Washington State facing Drake. Drake is an excellent yeah. basketball program. Yeah. Um, they will not back down from Washington State. Washington State, I was able to watch on like a sleepy Wednesday night go into uh, – Arizona and give it to give them the business and kind of that's what got them on the map and probably I'm assuming helped them get that number seven seed along with the way they finished the season. What's your feeling on, on that game and those two programs? Because these two teams, especially probably more Washington State, have the size, even if they, they, they can't, you know, personnel match up player to player for like a North Carolina or like a UConn or something like that. They have the overall size, big guards. Mm-hmm good enough size in the forwards, but athletic ability is a problem for everybody else uh, because they can finish, on, you know, off the break and then also in half court. Yeah, you wonder I, – I thought that Washington State would have a better season See, in the yeah. back, in the Pac-12 than they did. On the nights where they didn't, they didn't shoot well. Right. And for some reason, they got lazy on the boards. Yep. When you watch them against USC and UCLA, watch them against Utah – they had opportunities to win all of those games, and then they do a weird thing. Washington State makes the tough play, yeah, but they just forget to do the basic stuff sometimes. Right. Like I watch, I, I watch them in transition make three incredible plays. Right. Change yeah. the the tempo of the game, and then on four offensive possessions, not yeah, have not, a clue. Yeah. Like yeah. not have a clue. So, and Drake. They they got a clue though. Yeah, that's like, the thing about Drake, and that's the thing I want to ask you about this DP. We've seen over like we've seen Duquesne win, right? And, and there'll be other ones, right? Austin's a big fan of Grand Canyon. Uh, there's other teams out here that can do this, right? We're watching my man Anthony Grant in in Nevada in Dayton. I love the way they play, but Nevada's good too, right? He's run that one three one half courts matchup zone get like a champion look at it just, look at just the confusion yeah you can shoot the corner three <laughs> you know what i mean you will we'll live and die with your corner three what's it about like a, let's just call these schools like mid-majors right yeah. yeah that they're able to play teams from the power five conferences and beat them and not i wouldn't say it looks easy but it's never a never a concern it, it's, I, it's the it, it's like comparing the women's game to the men's game Certain players that with certain skill levels play to their talent. Right. And Drake is not going to beat themselves. Like, this is the thing. Listen, we're going to make two-handed passes. We're going to receive with two. Right. We're going to be in triple set when we catch the ball. We're going to make you at least respect my step-down game. Right. I'm going to back cut you to pieces if you turn your head on me and disrespect me. And if I'm hitting my jumper today, it's over. I'm a problem. Right. <laughs> I'm a problem. And Drake does – the mid-level teams, one, you're not losing players to the league, right? Yeah. You're not losing stellar talent to the league, and you're keeping people in a system yep. under the same coach, mm-hmm. and you get familiar with not making the same basic mistakes. Yeah, and you're building programs because those guys, you know, haven't been, you know, approached – to go to, you know, power five schools. I, th- I think the biggest thing for me, DP, is that these, and, and I compare it to like, you know, they were talking about, well, what's the difference between like power five and like HBCUs or mid-majors in football, right? And I always say it's just alignment. 
skill position. Yeah, what I mean by that is receivers and DBs. You're going to see it's not a there's maybe the depth is obviously there because you got four star recruits, a plethora like at Ohio State of receivers, but the top end talent is there. So when you think about what do you need in March, you need guard play, right? So because so just say for instance Kansas and Kansas might not have looked at guard A at Duquesne mm-hmm. or even at Drake because he's only five eleven, right? But he's fine at Drake. But when you get in the tournament and he's going against a you know Kansas guard, Alabama guard, and he's only six one, that stuff is out the door. So now those matchups aren't as big as deal because now you you don't have to fill these suits. I think that plays a big because what you've seen is a lot more uh, skillful size, mid-level size players. What I mean by that, from six seven to six nine. So how is that? How is that different? How does that give a Big Ten team problem? So you remember, uh, was it was it uh, what's the guy from Illinois a, a couple years ago, Kofi Coburn? Yeah, right, right. He's a back to the basket, old school type of uh, a five. Well, when he faces a Drake, or if he faces you know, um, maybe, you know, like uh, Grand Canyon State or, or St. Mary's or somebody like that, mm-hmm. and, or Florida Atlantic where they have a 6'6 guy that's their power forward or a 6'8 guy that's their center forward. Well, now you got to come out the lane because as soon as I hit that first three or that mid-range, now you got to come out of the lane. So then what happens? Now we got our quick guard that can break you down off the dribble. Remember a couple years, Kansas State. And the next thing you know, you're in a dogfight. And I think that's where it's so important where you see teams getting seeded, and that's where the most upsets happen, right? You see teams that are able to be, um, I would say, portable. You can play in the Big Ten, SEC. You can play in a holiday tournament because that's what gets you ready for the NCAA Who, who's tournament. Who's in the best shape? When you watch, and we, 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 we make it relative to the UFC. Two fighters in the UFC cut weight from their walking around weight they go to fight, right? The night, the morning before, they're in the greatest shape, right? Least amount of weight. They then take eighteen hours and replenish, right? One of them gets knocked out, and one of them throws three punches. Do you know who the most dangerous fighter is in the world? The guy that just fought that didn't have to fight for long. Yeah, these mid majors don't have the comfort of having six conference teams get yeah. in the tournament. They know, look, I can win 27 games and still, still not be get sitting at home. Yeah. So they get in playoff mode, playoff style of play. All year long, pretty much. Well, you think the back third yeah, for sure. is where point guards at the mid-major level cannot turn the ball over. Yeah. Listen, your offensive player number four in the mid-major – He's going to take three fewer shots in a tournament game than he did in, in the final 18 game. Yeah. You know why? Because he knows. I can't waste his possession. Possessions matter for mid-majors. Yeah. Sometimes in the, in the power fives, you can just go buck wild. Right. Feel it? Okay. He yeah. check. Go ahead and do your thing. Mid-majors don't play that way, yeah. especially in March. They Listen, don't beat yourself. Do what we've repeat, repeatedly asked you to do. Don't do anything else. Yeah. We'll be all right. Yeah, that's I mean, that's huge. And when you think of like a number two seed Arizona, you know, they'll shoot themselves out of a game, end up losing. Um you think of Creighton, um, where you feel like they, you know, just when they roll out on the on the court, you're like, Oh, they can play anyway. They got a big man in the middle, mm-hmm. you got shooting, you got guys that can drive, but there's something that just seems a little off is maybe it's a little toughness. But when you think about mid-majors, you think about James Madison. We watched them, and right? We just saw the impressive victory by Michigan State. Who beat them the first game of the season? Lord at man, home. What a beautiful game that was. But James Madison went in the, to East Lansing and wore them out. Yeah. And it started with guard play. We talked about it yesterday on Old School. Uh, they got a power forward, forward center, kind of like a Derek Walker, but a little bit more, you know, obviously fleet of foot. And it was giving Michigan State the pro- the, the business. And so when you're – sitting here and thinking who could make a run sweet 16 run all these teams are set up to do well it's going to be interesting to see what guards actually step up does illinois always in the second round find a way to lose to duquesne because duquesne see illinois has always been able to kind of crank up their defense just enough and then their offense starts to get going 
Well, Duquesne's going to crank that defense up as soon as they get off the bus, and they're going to see you right out there in the court. And they ain't gonna, they're just going to keep coming. And they're going to lay up, and they're going to get you and ones, and they've sh- improved their three-point shooting versus when they played in Nebraska to now. So you see their improvement. And so that's where their confidence comes from. So it's going to be interesting to see, man. It was a good first segment. Uh, we appreciate everybody out here at Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and O Street. We're going to take a quick break, come back, and dive into some more of these games in this NCAA tournament. Jay Foreman, Austin Orman, old school. We'll be right back. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. You're listening to Old School with DP and J. Download the mobile app and listen wherever you are on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. This week's specials through March 26th is spend $25 and receive a free 10-ounce New York strip, limit four per visit. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations on 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a few flurries possible this morning. Otherwise, mainly cloudy and breezy today with an afternoon high around 56. Tonight, a chance of showers. Otherwise, mainly cloudy with a low around 39. And tomorrow, decreasing clouds will be breezy too. The high around 52. I'm meteorologist Kyle Huck, 93.7 The Ticket, and theticketfm.com. Introducing The Outlet by Sarter Heyman. The Outlet brings you luxurious Sarter Heyman quality jewelry at unbeatable prices. Shop our expansive inventory of overstocked merchandise and a vast estate collection that just hasn't found its home yet. This is your chance to own stunning designer jewelry at a fraction of the cost. Elevate your style at The Outlet by Sarter Heyman, where luxury and affordability meet. Downtown at 12th and O or online at SarterHeyman.com. Plains Cover Crop is your one-stop seed shop. Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 in Orchard and across Nebraska. I could write a commercial telling you how great Waffle Weekends are at the chocolate season. Or I could just have Rico read you the menu. Banana Nutella. Nutella topped Belgian waffle with homemade whipped cream, chocolate chips, and freshly sliced bananas. Baconator. Buttermilk waffle with bacon slices tucked inside. Topped with salted whipped butter, caramelized pecans, and pure maple syrup. Waffle Weekend brunches at the chocolate season. PB&J. 40th and Old Genie or online at thechocolateseason.com. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Acres is bringing you the nation's largest indoor display of John Deere equipment and technology. Acres 2024 Ag and Turf Expo showcases everything from tillage and planting to application and harvest. We'll also offer the latest industry insights from ag professionals across the state. Join us in Grand Island at Fauner Park March 21st and 22nd. Go to acres.com slash expo 24 for a complete schedule of speakers and activities. Hey guys, it's Bill Bush. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty has opened a new location in Pender, Nebraska, in addition to their office in Lincoln. The real estate world can be confusing, so why wouldn't you want an expert helping you every step of the way? If you're looking to buy or sell farmland in Nebraska, Kansas, or Iowa, give Ethan Sorensen a call today at 402-380-0432 or visit them online at nextagrealestate.com. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty with locations in Lincoln and now Pender, Nebraska. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. 
Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Empower a child today with the Teammates Mentoring Program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting lincolnteammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Back to old school with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. We're back, old school. Jay Foreman, DP, Austin on the ones and twos. We are out here, at 68 No Street, Buffalo Wings and Rings. NCAA tournament is in full effect. Um, it looks to be now. We always have a little Big Ten update. Illinois is uh, got on track. They started hitting some threes, pulled the starters, and so they're trying to get everybody the uh, the experience of being in the NCAA tournament. Morehead State was a game opponent, probably for the first quarter or first half, and the. A little bit in the second half, but uh, Illinois showed some championship pedigree, so that's good for Mr. Brad Underwood because I know he was under a lot of pressure. Uh, but, DP, it was just uh, shown that the new Nebraska athletic director uh, made his presence down there in Memphis where uh, we have our own Jake Sorensen and Eric Strickland driving down to the game. Uh, first time they get to meet him, we got to talk to the players. Uh, obviously, things have moved quickly in the last week or so. What are your thoughts on the, uh, you know, new athletic director showing support? And that's what he has to do. It's in the job title. So um, his introductory press conference won't be probably just sometime next week. What's your initial thoughts on him coming in and obviously, you know, doing the right thing and, uh, you know, uh, being down there in Memphis? I, I mean, I'll, I'll flip it. What were your thoughts on watching Trev in Texas a <laughs> Hey, listen here, man. It's same. same it's same. same. No, it's the same. I'm about to answer. I'm going to tell you. The, the, okay, the thing is, when, when they showed Trev in that, uh, it was about 10, 12 seconds, right? Uh-huh. It had to be. for. So what I like to do, DP, I, I know I posted a picture of the guy that photobombed me and my dad. But when there's something funny on like, and you know, I'll send you some Instagram, TikToks. I have a yep. Nebraska wannabe golfers uh, text group and we send funny stuff. I will watch things a thousand times. Yeah. And then I'll watch it 10 times and focus on one thing. And then yep. it'll, it'll be an hour later. And, you know, sometimes I'll tell you when I'm on the porcelain throne, the legs get a little, you know, fall asleep. Every on the now front. and then. I watched that. You know what the sense I got was, DP? Is you, you remember when they had used back in the day when they had the kings, the Rome, you know, back then, King, you know, Henry the Eighth, you know, you have to marry so and so. Yeah. It looked like an arranged marriage of somebody's like, I do not want to be here. I made the decision. And it might have been sight unseen, and I got here, and it's like, what did I get myself into? What's the basketball coach? I think it's the Oregon's basketball coach, right? What's the name? Dana Altman. Remember when he went to Arkansas? Mm -hmm. It was there for like a minute, right? Mm -hmm. And they did. Once you saw him, and they did the Wu Pick Sue. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, this is probably not for me. (laughs) The reason why I knew that, (laughs) right? (laughs) Now Trev will be there, and I'm sure he'll adjust appropriately. But when they were trying to – I don't know what that was they were doing, right? And I have – we both have a lot of friends that are Texas a and alums yep. from our time in Houston. Yep. That had no rhythm. He didn't really want to do it because that's not his personality. He was the new uncle. He was the, he was the in-law at the wedding, the distant cousin who didn't know the electric slide. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I guess. And he got in the middle of the dance floor, and everybody else knew the steps. And yeah. he's standing up there bumping into people. It, it was, <laughs> listen, 
<laughs> it was almost. It wasn't as bad as Brian Kelly trying to adopt a Louisiana accent, each other yeah, accent. Yeah. You know, just getting off the plane from uh, South Bend in, in uh, Indiana. But it didn't it looked uncomfortable? All uh, of it is. Uh, all of it. All of it didn't look cringy. right. All of it's cringy. Uh, it, all of it's cringy. I, I get it. I know. I, you, I, I know it. you have to wear the maroon suit. Oh, uh, you know what? I always wonder when people, you know, get get these jobs. Remember Rick Barnes? Rick Barnes wasn't a big stretch for you because he went from Texas to you know Tennessee. But where do they get these? Where, like I know he didn't. Trev does there's not. A, there's a Gary Michaels in every city, every oh. college city. Maroon. That's there to Did, provide whatever they need, whenever they need it. Uh, they, you know, it, it's a simple thing. Here's my question. Here's my question. It's tomorrow night. Trev is at the game. And the thrall, the sea of red in Memphis says, go big red. What does Trev do? What Trev. will Trev do tomorrow? He'll say does, it under, he'll say it, he'll Trev, say it, Trev, he'll say it underneath Trev, his breath. Does Trev yell it back or does he <laughs> bite his tongue? I Listen, that tells me everything I need to know. If they, if, because we're going to get it all day. Does he does he have the unmitigated goal to yell gigum against Nebraska tomorrow night? You better if you're that's your that's hear your what I, hear what I'm saying. When people tell you who they are, believe them. Tomorrow night, go tell everybody. It will confirm all so the stuff. He, so you think so? You think he needs to be an employee of Texas A and M and cheer for Nebraska? Hear what he, I, I asked. What I asked. I'm waiting for an answer. I told you what he's going to do. He's okay. going to say it underneath his breath, and then he's going to still dig him, gig him, or whatever you call it. He's going to say, "Gig the Huskers." No, he's going to say when they say "Go Big Red" or they have the Big Red chance. He's going to look over there. And you know gig. what gig means, right? Man, listen. Okay. No, I do so, not. So, I, do, I do not study yeah, Texas. It, 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 I do it, not care. It is not a good thing he's wishing on the Husker. <laughs> <laughs> it is not a good thing he's wishing well, on the Husker. Well, it's a competitive nature. He ain't a Husker right now no more. He's a – it was an Aggie or whatever Boy, it's called. man, look. Long as he ain't, <laughs> got, long, long <laughs> he, long he ain't dressed up in one of those uniforms that, that they always Austin, wear. Austin, I'm, I'm just uh, – help me out. Help me out so I understand. The crowd yells – Go big red. Trev's stomach drops. He has no idea what to do. The the milliseconds He's not between the all. end of the cheerleaders or the first person yelling, go big red. Boy. He ain't and the crowd be to there. start, Boy. his first, stomach drops. He's going to be up in the box in somewhere. His and, and, and you know the and signal, no you know the signal like the, that the Aggies make for Giggum? No. You are the only one that knows. It is. It is. Yeah, they point, shoot them they, down. They, they point, yeah, it ain't hit right? nothing. They, right? <laughs> they the same people that walk. Guy, they like uh, classic they on like birds. They shoot team. themselves right I'm up in the foot. Just saying. I look, man. I I guarantee you, <laughs> Trev is going to get in there fashionably late, right at tip off. He's not going to sit in the crowd because what? Here's what the best part is. Say he's down there at Texas A and M. He's in like you know it, you know in the in the stand. Uh huh. So. I'm assuming on one side is going to be Huskers, other side he Texas A&M. Listen, I no, it's not that. When they when they say go Big Red, everybody oh Texas A&M turns around, and looks at him, and then he has to do the gig. I would, if I was Trev, I would just sit up in the box, man. What? Yeah, just I sit up in the box. It ain't. I mean, what either. do you say? What do we say about men who will stand against their own? What do we say against a man that will stand against his brother? What do we like? There's I, help me. But out. he would ask you this: What do you say about the people that, that might have been supposed to be his brothers and not act like that? Just because, <laughs> just because you blood blood related, don't mean you family. Hey, you know hey, what I'm saying? I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of family that ain't blood related. Uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently, there's a yeah. whole lot of folks. All I know is this: Ooh. the sphincter muscle for Ooh. Mr. Alberts is going to be tighter oh, as the man. game gets closer, man. and he ain't playing. I he has no control. Here's just, what I want. I want the bracket this. just to blow him out. Just for that alone, I I I kind of want to get on the plane tomorrow morning to go to Memphis. Just and I, I need to be like wherever he's gonna in the fit. I will have my camp my phone on him the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. You're gonna be like the dude from Michigan. You, <laughs> yeah, you right, know, what's his name? Right, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you up there, you up there getting some signals. I think listen, I, I here's where I am with it. I I think that Nebraska is in the right place in both teams. And 
it won't be easy. I'm not saying that. No, it, it's going to be tough. And, and, it's and, not, and it's not about Trev. It's, no. it's it, it shouldn't be about Trev before. It shouldn't be about Trev after. No. Because the, the team this has is, had a season. It's just a cherry on top. It's had a season. And whether that cherry is going to be sour or not, and that's all that matters. What are your thoughts on the new on the new extension for Amy Williams? Oh, I mean, she's earned it, and it's good. It's in a good place, and uh, I'm happy. You know, I mean, I've known Amy since college, so uh, happy for her and the team and the coaching staff, and uh, you know, taking them to the step step forward. So, you know, I just think it's one of those things that is going to happen. Boy, look, I'm out here. <laughs> what? I I just find all of it intriguing, For, and it, they, all of it makes me curious, and all of it makes me chuckle. And th- those deals are usually done. Austin, long is beforehand. this your brother? Is your brother working here with okay, the Duke? Okay, yeah. So he and I have had Duke? conversations. That's and your then brother. A, a for lady, real? no, not actually, no. But anyone that bleeds Duke blue is my brother. So yeah. anyone, look at you. anyone at all. We look had that lady you. over there wearing look, the Duke blue at, as well. Look, yeah. Oh, Jay, we I had to fool myself on stream last night. Jay, we do have a question. We do have a question for Austin. So we did it. We did it. The whole bracket during one on one last night. Right. And had the tax line. Pick, pick, the, pick the bracket. Right. And we reached a point where, of course, our bracket, our ticket listeners, 100 percent pushed Nebraska all the way through. <laughs> right. So Nebraska wins two games and it lines up against Duke. And so we tried to find Austin Orman to ask them this question. Jay. Bro left. Oh, skid, he left. He left skid marks with tennis shoes, <laughs> getting out of that building, so he didn't have to answer the question. I Dang, did. Text, I did text Harrison back though. What, Harrison texted me. What is, the, what is what is so if by chance or when? Oh, this Nebraska, is a better question because Austin, Austin, right. Austin can't. You can't do anything without Duke coming out of your mouth. So when Nebraska and Duke meet in the Sweet Sixteen, yeah, who are you cheering for? Because you know you cover the Huskers. Here, here are my responses in order to Harrison. He says, Duke or Nebraska Sweet 16? Me. I'm not choosing yet. That was my first response. Right. I said, wish I could, but no, nah, I'm not doing it. These Nebraska I gave dudes it, loyal. I gave it 30 seconds. They I texted him back, and loyal. I said, my head and my gut tell me Duke wins the game. My heart wants Nebraska. I I yeah, that's great, Austin. I'm gonna, Austin, I'm that's a great need. political answer. That I'm, I'm not being honest. That. No, you're I'm not being honest. You ride in the middle of the middle of the street. You walking right down the middle of the street. You freaking Nebraska or Duke? Period. Yes or no? It's A or B. Win or lose? You going with Nebraska or not? It's two different questions. Who do I want or who do I think wins? Those are two completely who, different okay, questions. Uh, who are you going to be cheering for? That's more important. Does it matter? I want every team. Right? Both teams. Yeah, to make it matters. Every shot. Yeah, it matters. <laughs> yeah. My heart wants Nebraska. I'm cheering for Nebraska. I think yeah, Duke right. wins. You, you reluctantly said look, that. Look, man, he's struggling right? with that. I he am. is struggling with that. Okay, Trev it's Jr. Tough. Okay, Trev Jr. Vershawn Jackson is, is, the, is the, the, uh, the funniest dude out there. He had, he sold Terrell, first of all, he sold Terrell Farley, the shirt. What is it called? Benedict Alberts? That's funny, man. Only Vershawn would do that, man. Man. Hey, man, listen, man, you got to get over it, man. People make choices, man. You got to wish them the best and move on. You know, it could work out for the best and nobody would care after this. But it's just, you know, I think this game right here is going to come down, to be honest with you, before we go to break, this game with Texas A&M, um, we've got about two minutes here, it's just going to come down to defensive rebounds, right? I think Nebraska is the better team. Like, you know, you got, you got more depth at the guard play. They got, I think they got better forwards. I feel like inside the, you know, rink mass provides a matchup problem for them. Coaching, you know, you could, you know, I'd say Fred's a better coach. Buzz is a great coach. I think I like Buzz better at Virginia Tech because I feel that's just him. But I think, you know, Texas A&M was a great opportunity. But I think the the intangible is going to come down to Texas A&M, because of their lack of shooting, is kind of like a dressed up version of Rutgers. If you let them have some sort of run of shooting bricks, run and chase, shoot bricks, run and chase, get a two and one. That's what gets them, you know, more excited. And, and, and all of a sudden their outside shots start to fall a little bit more. So I think if Nebraska does a good job, obviously turnovers and keeping the turn, the assist to turnover ratio down low, which they are, they should with their guard depth, if they can defensive rebound, uh, they will have control of this game from the, from, you know, start to finish. 
They have got – this is a mentality check. Listen, you made it, okay? Mm-hmm. You exceeded everybody, every national pundit, every local guy, on whether they said – had support or not. Nobody envisioned Nebraska to have a double buy going into the big – nobody did it. If they did, they're lying to you. Correct. So you exceeded everybody's expectations. You've had everybody in the state for the last – Three weeks, probably pat you on the back, right? Everything yep. worked out for you. Yep. Now it's time to play big boy basketball. Now it's time to show up with a mentality that we're not just going to be happy to be there. We're going to go actually make history. And we are going to be the team that you already made history getting there and getting a double bye, right? Yep. Now make real history. That's what's going to be interesting to see what the uh, mindset is, the walk off the bus, the energy. Uh, I'm big on intent. Do you have the intentions, you know, to go out there and, and, and impose your will, so forth and so on? Um, so tomorrow's a big game in Nebraska basketball history. It's a big game in some of these guys' individual legacies history, too. Yep. We're going to talk about this at the 5 o'clock hour before we get off. I think we're off at 5.30? 5.30, I think yeah. is when we yeah. roll yeah. over okay. to yeah, – Okay, 5.30 at the top of the 5 o'clock hour. I want to talk about the being a part of a team that has that first victory. The legacy for like a Casey Tamanaga, the legacy for obviously Fred Hoiberg, so forth and so on, compared to the greats like Eric Strickland, Danny Nee, so forth and so on. So, DP, J Foreman, old school, a lot to cover here. NCAA tournament live out here at 68th O Street, Wings and Rings. We'll be right back. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Watch Old School live on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. Old School with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. At Fairway Meat Market, your family, and as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now, through March 24th, enjoy Lincoln's favorite 8-ounce bacon-wrapped sirloin or 4-ounce fresh salmon portions for $3.99 each. Get ahead for your Easter dinner with Fairway Pit Hams, fresh lamb roast, or ribeye roast. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center, just south of 84th and Van Dorn. Empower a child today with the Teammates Mentoring Program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. Looking for a job that feels like family? Join Lincoln Industries, where tradition meets innovation. They're a family-owned, privately held manufacturing company with a passion for excellence and a commitment to their community. They have openings on all shifts at both the main plant and air park facilities, offering flexibility to fit your schedule. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, there's a place for you there. At Lincoln Industries, they invest in their people's success, providing opportunities for growth and advancement. Apply now and become a part of something special at Lincoln Industries. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire, 402 402- 560-6197. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life-changing. Hi folks, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC and the Chevrolet and GMC Truck Month is now underway. We've got huge savings in Louisville. Get 9,000 off or 1.9% for 72 months on select models. Yes, you heard right. That's 9,000 off or 1.9% for 72 months happening right now at Couple. So take that short money saving drive down 144th Street or check us out online at couplecars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with proof credit stock number G214773. Rosie Sports 
Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. Plains Cover Crop is your one-stop seed shop. Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 in Orchard and across Nebraska. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric is the call I make when I have a need for plumbing services. Whether it's for my home or office, if I need a repair to a water heater, softener, or even my garbage disposal, I know I can count on Action to help. In one simple call, their amazing customer service team promptly schedules a service call, often getting to my needs within a day. Action delivers honest quality services we can count on. To learn more, visit actionlincoln.com. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA Tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Back to old school with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What? I already did it. You want me to do it again? What up? We're back. Jay Foreman, DP, Austin Orman on the ones and twos. We're out here. Quick segment before we get to the top of five o'clock hour. Um, DP, when you look at the rest of the games, you got slate tonight. We'll just look at the ones that are on you know, TV tonight. Yes, Let's sir. just say from 550 on. Tonight. Texas against Colorado State, who had the play-in game, right? We saw how well they played. Texas, who uh, was, was uh, burst on the scene. Obviously, with the issues with their coach, you know, a couple years ago, obviously always has talent. Seven seed against Colorado, Kentucky, Oakland. You probably figure that's good foregone conclusion. You got Gonzaga against McNeese State. I'm emphasizing that one because I want really want your opinion. Iowa, South Dakota State, Iowa State, Iowa, uh, South Dakota State. Excuse me. Tennessee versus St. Peter's, Texas Tech, NC State. There's two games I want to ask you about. Mm-hmm. Gonzaga, McNeese State. Uh-huh. Texas Tech, NC State. Who are you picking and why? So you could look at McNeese State and understand why an upset is in play. Oh, yeah. I, I go back to the whole Northwestern discussion. At the very same place that I saw Northwestern at, at the Delta Center, guess who else was there? Gonzaga. You know, there's, there's three statues outside of the Delta Center. One of them is of a, of a Zag alum. Yeah. It's not Antoine Carr? No. <laughs> no. It ain't, the big it, dog? It ain't the big dog. It ain't the big dog. No. In the stands will be the entire Stockton family. There's familiarity. They know Gonzaga knows Salt Lake City, knows the Delta Center. They were the one seat, I believe, the last time they were there. and Or the two seat. And they played it, so they're familiar. So I'm leaning towards Gonzaga having a home game yeah. uh, at, at, at the Delta Center. I got you. All right, Texas Tech, obviously, uh, Chris Beard's down there, defensive-oriented athletes, mm-hmm. number six seed. Chris Beard is at Ole Miss now. Oh, he's at yeah. Ole Miss. Yeah. My yeah. bad. Yeah, Texas Tech is. is, is Grant is, McCaslin, Grant McCaslin. North Texas' yeah. head coach, made the NIT Final Four last year. You are year. correct. My bad. Against NC State. If you had asked me this three weeks ago, I would have said Texas Tech. Yeah. While in Orlando, Rico and I had the had the fortunate the opportunity to watch Texas Tech lose to Johnny Dawkins and the 500 uh, Central Florida. Yeah, goal, fans. Right? Yeah. And I saw some things that alarmed me that day. Um, they played poorly against right. UCF. Watching NC State. As a 10 seed, knock off three quality teams back-to-back-to-back. 
as an underdog. I'm going in the spirit of the late, great Jim Valvano yeah. and his amazing family. Go Pack Go. Yeah, I like that. I like that pick. I'm going to I'm gonna go from back end to front. I, I like NC State against Texas Tech. Um, I'm, I was mistaken. Chris Beard went from Texas Tech to Texas Tech to Texas, and then I'll see to where he's at now. But I like the way NC, NC State has been playing. You got the inside force of the uh, modern-day version. Remember Cadillac from the old and one series? Yes, sir. Uh, he's about 290 pounds, yep. about 6'10", but can move. Uh, he needs to be out there trying to kick step and be an offensive tackle, but that's for a conversation for another day. I like NC State. They're battle-tested. The last third of their regular season, they've been win or go home, do or die. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. they got to had to make up some ground. Yep. Didn't he actually do that being the number 10 seed, but made it towards the tournament. I like, even though Gonzaga is at home, I've watched Gonzaga five separate times. And I think part of me is tainted because Gonzaga has always been so good. And you knew what you had. And they've lost some star power players. And then in the back of my mind, it's like, man, you let Hunter Salas leave, and he's averaging 20 points on the ACC. But then I look at the speed, the athletic ability of McNeese State. And sometimes in this game, when and, and I think when a team like McNeese State, you have nothing to lose, nothing to lose, and everything to gain. They have more depth than Gonzaga as far as they go deeper in their bench. Uh, I like their coach. I think they're going to come in free willing. My heart says McNeese State, but I always pick with my mind. I'm going to go with Gonzaga. I think Gonzaga is going to shoot the ball. They've been shooting the ball better than they had been. I think they'll make enough threes and obviously do their thing uh, to get through this game. And this is still a really good Gonzaga. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what like, I said. They're like, fighting. <laughs> they're fighting all the way back to when Adam Morrison and yeah. Gonzaga let me down. Yeah. To all the, all the, with Timmy and, and their team. Yeah. I, listen, I understand that. Yeah. So this team is still excellent. And Mark Few, I like it. And we talked about this at, with the crossover before Strick. I like it that he came to bat for his old college, uh, for another college coach with Long Beach State. It lets you know that he has a little bit different of mentality. Mark Few's only, you know, knock on him, the intensity, right? You saw it right there, just unsolicited up the, off the cuff. Let you know up there. He probably doesn't like being the five seed. He likes his team better, so I'm going with Gonzaga. So yep. good first segment. We've got about 30 more minutes after this break at the top of the hour. Uh, we're going to come back, dive into some more NCAA uh, basketball uh, going into the second hour. Jay Foreman, DP Austin, we'll be right back. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. You're listening to Old School with DP and Jay. Download the mobile app and listen wherever you are on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. This week's specials through March 26th is spend $25 and receive a free 10-ounce New York strip, limit four per visit. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations on 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. This is Monster Jam. Big Air. Backflips. And all out racing. Coming to Pinnacle Bank Arena March 29th and 30th. The fun begins at the pit party Saturday at 10 30 a.m., where you can meet the drivers, get autographs, take pictures, and see the trucks up close. Pit pass must be accompanied by same day 1 p.m. event ticket. Get your $20 pit party pass at monsterjam.com today. Restrictions may apply. Rules and activities are subject to change. Visit website for event details. Plains Cover Crop is your one stop seed shop. Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 in Orchard and across Nebraska. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. 
restock your emergency kit, update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at LES.com slash report. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life-changing. Spring is on its way. Are you prepared to keep the grass greener on your side? Blades Lawn and Landscape has a position opened at a homeowner association to their client list with residential and commercial openings also. Transform your yard into a private oasis with the professional services offered by Blades Lawn and Landscape, including landscape walls and beds and a five-step fertilizer program applied by a licensed professional. Call them today at 402-730-6320 or go to bladeslcc.com to schedule a free estimate on commercial or residential lawn services. Looking for a job that feels like family? Join Lincoln Industries, where tradition meets innovation. They're a family-owned, privately held manufacturing company with a passion for excellence and a commitment to their community. They have openings on all shifts at both the main plant and air park facilities, offering flexibility to fit your schedule. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, there's a place for you there. At Lincoln Industries, they invest in their people's success, providing opportunities for growth and advancement. Apply now and become a part of something special at Lincoln Industries. Life is all about balance. So how about a little sweet and a little heat to make your week? At Wings and Rings, we're introducing our all-new hot honey menu for the month of March. Try our one-of-a-kind house-made sauce on the brand-new hot honey chicken sandwich or our hot honey shrimp and slaw. And of course, you can get it on the traditional boneless or smoked wings that have made Wings and Rings your go-to neighborhood spot. But don't wait. Hot Honey is only here until April 1st. So stop by Wings and Rings at one of our two Lincoln locations today on O Street and on Village Lane. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy, we make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. Finally, a good reason to have a smart house. Just say, Alexa, play 93.7 The Ticket, and we'll magically start playing. How's it work? Nobody knows. Don't ask questions. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth, 93.7 The Ticket. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America. This is Old School. Sponsored by the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese. Broadcasting veteran Derek Pearson. When you find something that moves them, that makes them smile, celebrate it. That's your task. That's your superpower. Nebraska Football Hall of Famer, Jay Foreman. Rifles a pass. It was tipped. It's picked off by Foreman. He's at the 15. 10, 5. He'll score! On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up, Jay Foreman, DP, Austin Orman. We're old school. We are brought to you by the Mercado Certified Piedmont Tea Special Ingredients of Butcher Shop, 84th and Havelock, 30th and Yankee Hill here in, in Lincoln, Nebraska. We're live out here in Wings and Rings, 68th and O Street uh, for the next two days. Obviously, for actually one more day, excuse me, is uh, from 10 to 6. We'll be giving plenty of prizes, raffles, live raffles every hour on the hour from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. We just had the last one, have plenty of prizes anywhere from Beer buckets, pitchers, or not beer buckets, pitchers. Uh, we will be giving away. Where is this at, man? I gotta get it. Where's it at here? Oh yeah, that wasn't right. Uh, Coors Light backpack cooler, uh, Budweiser alumni cap, Dr. Pe- Pepper prize pack, ninety three seven ticket prizes. Um, Coca Cola shirts, Coca Cola shirts, appetizers, beer, beer buckets, and pitchers. Yeah, we have to put a disclaimer on those because. Uh, if, if we hand those out, we may have to explain what we mean. Oh, okay. All right. And then uh, who knows? There might be some uh, different new shirts that uh, 
some of Ticket personality to be here. We'll all be here tomorrow again. Doing it again. It was uh, all the way around the block. Good atmosphere. Good people out here. Um, and always a celebratory moment, man, when the, the uh, NCAA tournament gets started out. It's just the first round of the day uh, going on the uh, rest of the day into the night to about 11 p.m. both nights, which is obviously awesome. Uh, but, DP, wanted to ask you, who are you picking to win it all? Uh, and, and, and you know I, I, I despise the whole pickup thing because I it, it's just a, an engagement in yeah silliness, um, especially with college athletes, <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> you know emotional creatures. Well, yeah, yeah. we don't know we yeah. don't know who who whose girlfriend broke up with him last night. Yeah, you uh, didn't make your free throws. Yeah, we you know there's there's all sorts of things in play uh, when it comes to this sort of thing, but the best teams in the country. Are the four be- are, are the four one seeds? Right. Those, are, those are the four teams that had the best season. So if you say anything outside of that, it makes less sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, my thought is that the best team in the country is UConn. My thought is that the best player in the country plays at Purdue. Yeah. I also would say that style of play and people I like watching play that I think that Marquette checks a lot of boxes for for the style of play that wins in in March tournaments. Yeah. Except they didn't get it done in their tournament because the team ahead of them, oh, they're pretty good. Right. They're pretty good. I lean heavily on UConn, North Carolina, but they will play each other. Purdue, because of the big and a, a really good shooting team. And they're in the mid, Midwest looks – I mean, come on, Purdue. It looks like pretty easy. Well, but we also know that there are no easy wins. No, but the in, gauntlet in, in that south. Woof. Well, but, I mean, okay, like – it, it is the NCAA. It's for the yeah. championship. Right. Like, this isn't a friendly like they have in soccer, right? This yeah. is not a friendly yeah, like they have in soccer. To, this isn't like, a get-to-know-you. Right. This is, yeah. this is you know, from the line from Men in Black, the, the best of the best of the best, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so, play your best at the most critical time. Right. The team that does that, the best and most consistent, doesn't have a slip-up. No glaring weaknesses. Right. Is UConn. Yeah. And they've been, they, they've been you know, pretty much the best all year. They're bringing a lot of people back. They got the big man in the middle, multiple guards. And I got, I think they got that championship mentality. Um, they'll be the first to go back to back since Florida. You know, I mentioned the Midwest. And the reason why I think it's a, in perception a little bit easier is Kansas. Uh, Colliers is out for the whole tournament. He's their best player. Um, you know, Creighton looks beatable, right? Yeah. We, we've seen them up close and personal. Uh, they've struggled mightily against Akron today, but the first game is always probably the hardest. And Tennessee is going to defense you to death and try to beat you 68 to 63, 68, 65. And that's a blowout victory for them. Yep. What I mean by that is when it comes time to sometimes you get in that third and fourth game, even though you're a defensive oriented team, teams are humming. You got to be able to get up in that 70 to 80, 80 uh, points uh, in a game. And it's hard for Tennessee to get there. So, um, it'd be really good to see Purdue break through with Zach Eady. I think they, uh, they've they gotten better. Um, they're more athletic. They used to be so at one point guard and a big guy that's seven foot eight tall. And then next thing you know, that they get beat because they don't have any forwards. I think they got everything that they need. Now, the the spotlight, talk about this. Now, I think the spotlight turns the painter. Can yeah. you lead a team that has better parts than you had before? To the promised land. Not nothing's guaranteed, but I'm saying that more of the pressure goes on him uh, because you've improved your roster, right? Uh, Zach Eady has improved from last year. Hardly say he's two times the player of the year, but he's gotten better, uh, faster, better shape. Now, what are you going to do in those pressure moments? What 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 set are you going to call? What timeout are you going to make sure you get? What change of defensive scheme are you going to do? Are you going to use e- Zach Eady sometimes as a decoy to get somebody else going what are you going to do to say you know what 
that that's a championship uh, no, adjustment I'm, right I'm, there. I'm going to follow the greatest college coach in history. I'm going to follow John Wood. He, he had Bill Walton. He had Lou Alcindor. Yeah. And in some critical times where they faced a really good Memphis State team with Keith Lee. And, and or was it Larry Kennett? That Bill Walton shot the ball 23 times, made 21. Right. Do that. Do that. You have the most unstoppable force in all of college basketball. You know what? If I lose, he's exhausted. Yeah. He is exhausted. What He's going to shoot 15 free throws. He's going to take 20 shots from the floor. He's going to get six offensive rebounds, four putbacks, and four free throws out of it. Right. If you outsmart yourself and decide, hey, watch this, watch this. I'm going to use him as a decoy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Walk out of the building, give the keys to the car to somebody else who's a better driver. Right. But if I've got the most unstoppable force in college basketball, you better not beat me again. Like, did you not learn last year? Did you not learn from your mistake? Which was, oh, I'm going to finesse my way through the first couple of rounds and then I'm going to grind? Yeah. Nah, dog. We go, we go, Mike Tyson. This thing out the locker room, <laughs> and 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 he's gonna get the ball in every way. And listen, remember Georgetown, North Carolina, in the championship yeah. game, and and Patrick Ewing, John Thompson, and Patrick Ewing got together and said, "Hey, we're not gonna let them see the ball go in the basket." Yeah, first so three times. That. First three shots, Patrick said, "I'll go ten. Give me that." Did North Carolina stop going in the middle? No. Did Sam Perkins quit attacking? Did James Worthy not score? Look, be who you are. You're yeah. a number one seed because you have the best player in the country. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how what Purdue does in, in this situation. I think they'll be fine. DP, I wanted to ask you, it looks like Oregon's going to you know pull through. They're up by 12 points against South Carolina. And uh, – you know, next round they play Creighton. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, you talk about you know Nebraska against Texas A&M with Trev Alberts and that and all that. Danny Altman, Oregon. I mean, quietly, you know, up there in Oregon, he has created a basketball program that's year in and year out. You know, generally Sweet 16, uh, either bound or it comes in a tournament and plays well. Plays his old stomping grounds in Creighton. And the one thing about Oregon, when you watch them right now, it's not you know the multiple shoe you know, jersey combinations, which it seems like if you watch them enough, they have 25 different combinations. They're long. They're athletic. Just as you see the 6'10 guy right there, break the press, dump it off to the 6'10 the other guy to deal. That's with not great. even fair. Well, I mean, look look at That's it. That's not even fair. Yes. There's something that, I mean, it, look, you got to think. Styles make fights. Oregon is, all, what are they always? Athletic? Long. Long. And they had always have depth. Who are you picking in that game, and why? Well, it's Oregon because it's that they are what Oregon is. Is Oregon is how we should treat how we treat Michigan State, but we should treat Oregon because yeah. Oregon shows up in the tournament every year, and we 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 devalue the Ducks because of some bad coaching decisions along the way, right? Some some play off the court stuff that went down, and then they get all this length and go, oh, we have to fight for one night with this talent. Yeah, and guess what? They're not going to match up against a team in the entire tournament that has more talent than they do. Yeah, not one. They're an eleven seed. That for, player for player in the skill set, Oregon is always. Super talented. Right. Then it's a matter of, well, will you make the plays? Yeah. And will you do this? But in a one-off where it's one and done, yeah. Oregon figures out, okay, let's stop playing. Yeah. <laughs> we need yeah. to stop messing around. Uh, we got to win tonight. Yeah. It, you know, Creighton likes to play at a certain pace. Um, and, and you know, they try to just wear you out. And they got the big guy in the middle. It's going to be interesting to see what Oregon does to offset, you know, their big big man in the middle. Because it used to be where you could run him, 
up and down the court, he get tired. But he's the three time, you know, Big East Defensive Player of the Year. He causes problems against everybody. He's played against big men. He's been sustainable and dominant in the middle. What Oregon does offensively and better yet defensively, I know Austin's coming in here to offset that is going to be that's going to be the make or break for the game. Oregon's got a big due to their own. Oh, I know. And, and following yeah. Dante right. is a beast. You're right. I've been watching this game attentively because I've been rooting for the Dana Bowl. Yeah. I have been, I want that matchup. I want to see it. And I want to see Dante and Kalkbrenner. I, I need to see that matchup. Cousinard is going off as an Oregon record for points in NCAA tournament yeah. game. Trey Alexander versus Cousinard. Sign me up. Okay. Yeah, this, I mean, I mean this, this game is going to be must see basketball. Yeah. But then it's going to come down to because I watched Oregon. Uh, when they played Washington earlier in the year. And the, the funny thing about it is because Goggles was playing. Remember I talked yep. about Goggles was in there. Yep. Well, Doc Goggles met something that he ain't never seen before Hello. in Dante. Hello. But the one thing that Oregon did, and I don't know if Coach Altman was doing this just to see how it worked. He he even he kept Dante in there, and they ran a 1-3-1 half. That's not normally what Oregon does. They just right. line up, hey, listen, man, man, we're going at it. Hit him with that 1-3-1 one, one half-court trap and just – Anything that Washington was doing in the positive, I mean, Goggles shot one to step back corner three. That's how bad it was it's, because it's the three that we that we saw him take that we would all make that guttural groan. But he did, but he put the step back in there, and that's what they want. And then what they do, get in the break, and the next thing you know, it's a it's a 12, 15 point victory. So it's going to be that interesting is a see. really talented bracket though, that you? right? Now that you look just at talent, that Creighton's talent. Creighton. First of all, South South Carolina's ta- talent. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tennessee's talent. Which Tennessee's is, is all Texas. Texas. Colorado State. And then oh, you've got the gutter boys uh, in 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 Gonzaga. Oh, hold on! Don't forget about TCU. Like this is that. Do not listen. Do not sleep on TCU in that second round. Did they put all the dogs? They just said, hey. They this put is the you, dog bracket. You know what they put? They put all the guys that are. 3.1 stars on the on the rankings and, and they should be you know four stars and everybody has a chip on their shoulder put yeah. you all down there in the midwest yeah. and uh you got to try to knock off the big man in the middle with with purdue it's going to be interesting to see man in, in, in two days can we go back to jay's point about tcu and guards danny yeah. sprinkles done a great job at utah state i respect yeah. it yeah. tcu has got a lot of old guards yeah. that have played a lot of basketball all of them can put the ball in the bucket and Jamie so Dixon bad. will get at will get after you on the defensive end. Yeah. They were so Manny bad. Miller, they were Avery so... Anderson, uh, Micah Peavy <laughs> is fun. And here's the thing: my question mark about Purdue isn't easy. It's the guards. Yeah, I know that Smith was all Big Ten. I know lawyers got some pedigree. I do not trust Purdue's guards. So it wouldn't shock me if TCU says, "Run, run, run." We throw our guards at you for 40 minutes. We take our chances in the last 60 seconds. Let me ask you this, yeah. Austin and DP. Yeah. In this tournament. Do you want old guards, right? Or do you want a player that can get you like Teddy Allen buckets that can hit you for 30 or 40? Oh, that's not fair. Can't you have both? No, no Aren't it's, it's, old guards those guys? No, I mean, Kevin no, didn't there's do that until he was old. No, there's not. Shabazz didn't do that until he was old. No, no. Or you want a guy that's consistent. Now, what I mean is, you know, when he gets off the bus, low turnovers, 12 to 16 points, couple steals, consistently old guards, physical, you know, got cuts on their face, you know, got a couple butterflies, and it's, you know, because he has some, you know, got two two things in his nose and all that other stuff versus a guy that, you know what, I can just light you up like my man down there. Was it Dillingworth in Kentucky? Dillingham. D- Dillingham. Mm-hmm. That will just give. Thrillingham, actually. Giving you the work. I, I, do, I look, listen, the NCAA tournament is about old guards. Has been. Seems like it always will be. Right. Like I Sidney Lowe was 42 when he started <laughs> uh in that in that championship game against five 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 jam. He was 42 years old. Uh he had an IRA account. Uh <laughs> he, and he, said was already, IRA. he was already getting emails. He already had like he already had like double ARP life yeah, insurance. Like he was already you getting know, emails he got the mail, yeah. player, right? Even before emails, he was getting the ARP emails. It's a thing. But NCAA tournament is also about immaculate level defense. Stoppers. Yeah. And so many of these games are decided by moments. We're not even talking about possessions. We're talking about moments. Yeah. Where good teams don't have a dog who can just go get them a bucket. Like, just in whatever way, go get a bucket. And 
I would rather take the 39 minutes of having peace and calm than giving away, giving it all away for the idea of having that situational bucket get. Yeah. I need the consistent flow. I need 38 minutes of leadership. And, Austin, and the best teams have both. An old guard, I like my explosiveness to come from the wing. Even if the guard's going to handle the ball, what we see in the NBA is the biggest mismatches are the guys that are 6'7 to 6'9 yep. with guard skills. There's not as many of those guys in college, and the ones that there are find some role at the next level. I want an Aaron Kraft, a Monty Morris, a guy like that handling the ball. But I need a guy that can be a mismatch. They can switch on to a big man, step out, knock it down. They can switch on to a guard, take him down to the post, get a bucket, whoever I need a bucket. I want an explosive but wing like and a steady point those. guard. There's like four of those in college basketball. Right. I know. That's why they're so important. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, I just think because also the, the thing that goes that, that doesn't get enough attention is the guard, a guard, old guard or just a point guard that can control the pace of the game. And the psychology. It, and the, yeah, and that, and that goes hand in hand yeah. because I have to know if DP or Austin is on a heater or you're telling me you feel it, I got to keep feeding you. You might be in on in that same mode, but we have to play to win, right? But then also if we're trying to stop a run just because they score, say, quick four points off a couple turnovers or whatever, that doesn't mean I get it, pound it down the court, come down, step, sidestep, throw it up high off the glass. It's a great shot if you make it. It turns into a fast break, easy transition, you know, two points or, or uh, transition three on the other end. So then you go from being down four points, then you're down seven. Now all the momentum, let alone, you know, all the uh, positive energy is out of your team. So guard play is so huge because really good guards, whether they're guys that can really light you up, you know, hit you with a barrage like a Steph Curry. Obviously, he's the greatest of all the shooter, great, greatest shooter of all time can light you up, but he's still an extension of the head coach. You get what I'm saying? Well, he, I mean, Gary Williams talked about that Maryland Juan Dixon led yeah. team and said that his greatest talent was his ability to not get caught up in the moment yeah. and to not hit the gas pedal. Yeah. Like where it was intuitive that, hey, we need a bucket here. That's often verbiage for people to say, go get yours. Yeah. Instead of, he said, Lonnie Baxter would get it going, yeah. and Juan Dixon would just – he'd hold the hand up and go, I'm coming, yeah. just not now. We got to right. get two points somehow on yeah. the board. Right. Let's do our thing that we do for us, and in that, you'll end up with, yeah. a, with a layup. Right. I'm not going to give it to you with, with 20 seconds on the clock. I'm going to give it to you with five. Yeah. And that's the thing, again, that maturity right. when it comes to, to March Madness. It's, it's yeah. vital – um, and it, there isn't enough of it. Yeah, it is. And, and when you talk about preparing for, like, a football playoff game or a bowl game or, you know, preparing for a football – a basketball game, and now it's different because it's March Madness and you're not in the middle of a Big Ten season when you're playing on a Tuesday, you know you play Saturday, is you have to have those kind of breakout meetings to talk about situational basketball. If you don't, you're missing it. And the reason why I was bringing this up, because we're going into break and coming after break, I want to ask you guys to think about during the break, what's your message? They already went through their shoot around, right? You know, we saw, you know, obviously different highlights. They went through their shoot around, probably had some media obligations. Okay. We've get, got the media notes so we can read great. some of the quotes. We right. Can, if we, we can do that. We want to definitely do that. But I want to talk about when you get back to the hotel, you mm -hmm. have your dinner, family, you know, I'm sure you got family and friends or whatever in town, but boom, we got to have our, you know, meeting before we go to bed. I want to know what your guys' two message two different messages, what your messages would be to your team about the details or about just what to think about going into the game. So good thing there that we get to go to break, come back and get uh, some knowledge from DP and Austin. Jay Foreman, old school. We'll be right back. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Watch Old School Live on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. Old School with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. 
Tanner's Bar and Grill is the perfect place to watch the NCAA tournament from the round of 64 all the way to the championship. Bring your friends and family in to enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials, and wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game, as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early, grab your spot, and settle in for a day of NCAA tournament basketball at Tanner's Bar and Grill, 30th in Yankee Hill. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire at 402 402- 560-6197. NEPCO is hiring CDL drivers for Ready Mixed Concrete, Husker Concrete, and Beatrice Concrete. NEPCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and they pay for CDL training. Apply today and start your new career with a $2,500 hiring bonus. From NEPCO's beginning in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit nebcoinc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C.com. Power Combo BOGO? Huh? Yes. If you purchase an air conditioner, you receive a furnace completely free. At John Henry's, our professionals want to ensure you are comfortable in your home all year long, no matter what Nebraska has to throw at us. Call today to schedule your free estimate and learn more about the free furnace waiting for you. Give John Henry's a call today. 435-5555. John Henry's plumbing. Heating and air. And electrical. This is former Husker and NFL linebacker Jay Foreman. For years, I've suffered from degenerative problems at both of my ankles. But thanks to a thorough and thought-out plan provided by Advanced Medical Imaging, I was able to get my life back with the least amount of pain as possible. While working through multiple options, the team of physicians at Advanced Medical Imaging were there to answer any questions I had. If you're experiencing any pain at all and want to get your life back, go to amimaging.com or give them a call at 402-484-6677. Advanced Medical Imaging, located at 7601 Pioneer. Boulevard. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. Plains Cover Crop is your one-stop seed shop. Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 and Orchard in across Nebraska. If you want to make new floor shopping easier, come to O Street Carpet. Hi, I'm Steve Carper. Our flooring professionals can help you choose the best flooring for you, your family, and your budget. We eliminate the confusion. Even better, you'll be enjoying your new flooring much sooner. No six or eight week waits. We'll install right away and save you money on installation. Floor shopping made easy every day at O Street Carpet. O Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. 
Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O on 937 The Ticket and the Ticketfm.com. Back to old school with DP and J on 937 The Ticket and the Ticketfm.com. What up? We are back. Jay Foreman, DP, Austin. Again, old school live out here at 68th and O Street, Buffalo Wings and Rings. First round of NCAA March Madness is live and kicking. Uh, we mentioned before, or I mentioned before the break, going to pick DP and Austin's brain, what they would tell Nebraska and these Huskers and their players before they go to bed. But before that, I think DP is going to talk about some of the notes from the uh, press conference. It, and it was pretty cool for just in the break where you're telling me just a couple of the, the leading questions or the questions that they asked where it, they bounce all over the place. And, the best one, I mean, obviously, the, the KCA Tamanaga, you know, is obviously going to be, you know, taken off. It's going to be talked back, you know, probably till all the way up until tip off. But the biggest thing, DP, is Bryce Williams taking ownership essentially of this team, captain of this team, and saying, I am the point guard. I want that responsibility. I want to be the table setter. I got two questions for both of you. Talk about the maturation of him, right? Start to finish. And as you've seen down the stretch, that dog is starting to come out of him. But then also talk about what that means moving forward for not only him, but the Huskers as they match up against Texas A&M tomorrow. So Bryce brought up, again, and having been here a year, transferring in, uh, what Coach Hoiberg has done for his confidence, being issue one and and the big thing that's highlighted, what he's done for me, selling the confidence, he said, uh, playing a new position I've never played before at point guard, kind of running the show. And it, and whether I make a mistake or make a couple of mistakes, he's shown that he has confidence in me and that helps me have confidence in myself. He's given me the freedom to make mistakes and lead the team while pumping me up behind the scenes. Just having confidence in myself allows me to propel me forward. So it he's aware of his coach. He's aware of his transition. He's present. That's a really, there's an emotional maturity there that gives me really good feel about Bryce Williams. Not that it's required, but that he's aware that his coach believes in him, has given him kind of a a, a personal challenge uh, about what he needs, and then the way it's being handled, when he talks to him, how he talks to him. Pretty good stuff. Right. And I think it's huge, you know, from a, we'll get Austin, you'll come in after. I think it's huge just because, you know, everybody just try, tries to judge everything based on what we see, you know, in PBA, you know, whatever time, 6 or 8 p.m. What goes on behind the scenes is so huge. And sometimes it takes a little while for not only, you know, the coach to recognize what Bryce might need. And it, doesn't, it might not be like, hey, obviously he could shoot the three, handle, he could do all. It's not a skill set. It's a mindset type of thing. Then also it takes a little while to recognize that. Then you got to have a plan and a way to connect with them so he trusts you of what you're saying. And sometimes when you hear about, hear somebody say, okay, look, I believe in you. I, you know, maybe I believe in you more than, than you believe in yourself. You know, sometimes players take a step back and like, oh, I always got confidence. Well, they you generally don't see yourself through the same lens as Coach DP or Coach Austin. And then to stick with it and continue to push him to do more and more, that's how you get him to say freely, okay, I'm going to take the reins. What do you think, Austin? There's a lot There's a lot in there. And to me, it's Bryce Williams is not a traditional point guard. Fred Hoiberg doesn't run a traditional sort of lineup. So from that aspect, it makes sense. Bryce Williams' handle isn't as tight as maybe a traditional point guard, but it's fine. 
what he's done, part of the growth is he's cut down on the one-handed passes. They're yep. soft, lazy reversals. They got stolen pick sixes earlier in the season. Fred Hoiberg believing in Bryce Williams looks in two different ways to me. Number one, it's putting him in position to succeed. It's not as simple as just, you know, benching him is I don't believe in him and keeping him on the court is I believe in him. Right. There's an aspect of it. But if you're going to have a guy on the court as a coach, your job is to find positions for him to succeed in. Fred right. Hoiberg has found ways for Bryce Williams to be successful while at the same time saying you've mastered this. You're working on this. You're not good at this. Pushing him to grow and be uncomfortable to take that next step in season is hard to do. Right. We've seen leaps and bounds of growth from Bryce Williams because often enough, he's where he's comfortable and he's best, yeah. but he's pushed just enough to be able to learn and grow through it in the course right. of 30 some games that Nebraska's played. Yeah, it's huge, man, to be able to coach and, and look. Obviously, he just got the extension. You know, the seat was a little warm, right? Um, not a lot of expectations coming into the season. Let's just be honest. But also, we talked, I always talk about. When a coach tells you he has a plan, you get somebody to believe in you, and then you actually actively go. The reason why I keep talking about it because it's not done a lot in this day and age of coaching. What do coaches usually do? Right, pack up your pack up your stuff, go on to the next destination, passive aggressively blame DP in Austin because you know you didn't believe in my plan after like eighty five years, right? <laughs> he, he, well, no, I'm seriously still yeah. right. So so. To have that, but then to be in season and, and and when you're recruiting a kid like Bryce Williams out of the transfer portal, who they got to see up close and personal last year, not this season, but last year, you're able, you're you have to recruit him, and then you have to make good on what you're doing. You took Bryce away from home. He went to Charlotte. His dad's jersey's in the rafters. There. Right, that's a big deal. That's family. That's all he's known. He felt comfortable there that's a big ask to get him to go halfway across the country. Yeah. And then if he was going to come and have a bad experience, not feel believed in, yeah. he could have shut it down, but it, sticking with him and giving him those opportunities, believing in him, giving him those, those chances kept him here, got him comfortable. And you're seeing the fruits of that labor. And, and we've seen this kind of before where, you know, Delano Blanton Banton got drafted. He was kind of a six, nine point four, probably not nearly as, ref, as skilled and refined as Bryce, but we've seen in Fred Hoiberg, seeing something farther and, and, and better for him than the player might have seen at the present time, right? Mm -hmm. You know, why would you have him at, at kind of a point forward or something like that? Now you see him obviously still in the NBA, got drafted, and the rest is history. You know, the it, it takes a real coach to put people in position to be successful for the betterment of them all the while you're still winning as a team. That's not done because that's why you wonder why a guy goes – and this is nothing against Mark Few, but why a guy goes from Gonzaga – to Wake Forest, and he looks like a totally different player, right? Because instead of doing what happened this year with Nebraska players on multiple levels, now, even when we had the struggles, right, of Jamarcus Lawrence, what do he do? So I believe in him. It will work out. We'll find a role we'll for find you where you're more comfortable. Right, down towards the end of the season, what happened? We saw it last year, CJ. Everybody was like, why is he still playing? And we kept saying, he's shooting good shots. They just ain't going. What happened? Started to hit some shots. Right, coming off the bench, and he's the fire uh, uh, fire starter off the bench, and so um, that's true coaching. Um, DP, I wanted to ask you when you can you read the thing what they said about Kase and how they're trying to approach that. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing for them to say it's unique to be able to play with a player of his talent, and to go further into it, them talking about well, this is not a one off. What you see in games is nothing. Compared to what you see in practice. <laughs> oh, I'll bet you they get they get the business in practice. Right. Like he says that, wait a minute, the first time he came through, um, he says it's special to play with somebody that draws in this type of hype and this type of excitement. He goes, it's been pretty special to have him. Um, he goes, We were playing a little five uh, a little five on five. Um, he goes, it was one of his first practices back this year. Said, and he did a thing. First, he just hit a normal three. Then you let him hit one. He gets on fire, like, right away. So then he hit a, a step-back three. And then right the next possession, he got switched. The five switched on him. And he took a one-on-one a, a one -on -one and hit another step-back three, like three possessions in a row. He goes, that's the first time. This is Rick Mass saying it. This is the first time I ever saw this type of player. Um, and he's been that special right. player all year. Pretty amazing to say. Right. 
listen, they're, they're not surprised by anything they see in games because they've seen it in practice. Well, you talk about Bryce Williams. I want to ask Austin about this. When you look at Casey, a couple years ago, strictly a three po- deep three-point shooter, easy to find. We pay attention to him, easy to defend. And we saw the maturation of his game last year. Being able to use his offhand, we talked about that, DP, mm-hmm. right? Being being sly and savvy with the cuts, the angles, but he developed his right hand and, and found a way to get to the bucket. Obviously, he's really, really, you know, added on to that. Talk about that, Austin, when you have a player that can stand out there and shoot almost from half court. Talk about Fred Horberg, what he's done. In, he's challenged Casey to do it, and, and he's done it. The, the cop-out for Fred Hoiberg in Nebraska would have been to call Casey Tominaga the next Thor Thor Bjarnason. International, left-handed, yeah. spot-up shooter. We saw Thor develop into more than that, uh, a little bit more of a 3 and D guy, secondary ball handler. Right. But this is where I think Fred Hoiberg working with Team Japan's coaches, Casey's three-on-three Olympic experience is yeah. a big deal. It's a different game, but it translates in, in the same way. Whereas Casey had those ball-handling reps. In three-on-three... You can't just stand in the corner. No, you got to You can't move. just do that. If, if you're Nebraska and you want to run a high pick and roll with Bryce Williams and rink mass and then sit Kese and CJ in the corners, Juwan Gary in the dunker spot, you could do that all day. And we don't know who Kese Tomonaga is. But having a secondary ball handler like Kese who can function as a primary ball handler, who's crafty and is in his own way physical. No, he's not going to put a shoulder into you and drive you backward. Think about how much Kese runs. All yeah. the screens he comes off of. How many bumps if, he takes. Right. No. Even if Casey's not the one giving you the bumps, Rink Mass, Juwan Gary, even Bryce Williams sometimes are hitting you as you're trying to run off and around a screen to get to Casey. That adds up in a similar but different way to like Terrence Shannon Jr. going downhill. It, right. it all adds together. Yeah, and I think the the ability of Casey to pick and choose the spots too, and 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 he's probably, doing that much better this year. Probably does, and and you know he's learned through different times this year. Maybe the Rutgers game, the first one out there. Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota game, you know, kind of like, all right, let, let me learn from this. But also the confidence in, in the team concept where they all believe in each other. Very easily after that Minnesota game, you go, oh, here comes the same old Nebraska, you know, cupcake schedule. Well, Duquesne's a lot better than they, they people thought they were. But at that point in time, right, cupcake schedule, here they go, go up there, lose another double-digit lead. What do they do? Get right back to work and get it. That's what they're going to have to lean on, in my opinion, uh, to, you know, beat this challenge at Texas A&M. Before we go to break, I want to ask you guys, what's your what's your each of your message tonight before curfew and they get to uh you know head up to the room? Oh, this is this is this is a bob night. This is a bob night. You ready for this? Back cut, baby. For an aggressive defense. Yeah. With that length, they're going to try to take away and run through. Now, they normally play off of that and physically defend you away from the middle and from the board. A sneaky suspicion is that you change that and adjust it to close out the threes and make, make people pay and be close to tag to shooters. You do that, back cut, back cut, back cut. Back cut, back cut, back cut. Here's the other thing, boys. Got to win the boards. Yeah. And I'm not saying it has to be even. It has to be purposeful. Right. And you take it personal that your time on the floor, that loose ball is our loose ball. Right. And that's everybody. It's not Austin's, it's not Jay's, it's not mine, it's all of us. It's just not just Sam Hoiberg. It's just, it's all of us. You have to win the battle. Yeah. Because that's the most difficult battle you're gonna face uh Friday night. Nothing else matters. Right. Don't mm-hmm. get distracted. Don't get caught up. Don't get out of system. Don't try to do it yourself. We have to back cut these boys for easy buckets and break down this physical defense, and we have to beat them up on the boards. Right. Beat them up on the boards, beat them up on the boards, and we play on Sunday. My message would be lean into the moment. All the excess knows things that DP mentioned, right. but I think a, a young team that might be ahead of schedule, you wouldn't want to necessarily put the, the – the brakes on him and the blinders on him, but you might have to tone him down a little bit. Yeah. Hey, don't get out of your skis. Slow down mentally, make the next right play. Whereas this veteran Nebraska team has been in some big games with some stakes, but not to this magnitude. So my message is lean into the moment. Yeah. Don't get caught up in it. Don't don't focus on winning the first game, 
But I think sometimes Nebraska comes out flat, especially defensively. So my message is energy, energy, energy. This is the biggest stage Nebraska's played on. Yeah, Lean into time. that. Yeah. Use that energy. Use that buzz to make your defensive rotations crisper, to give that extra effort on the boards and to dive to 50-50 balls. Don't go overboard. Don't fake it because right. I think one of Nebraska's strengths is the steadiness. Yeah. But I think this is a Nebraska team, as veteran as it is, that could use a little bit of that emotional spark and uplift more so than a little pullback on the reins. Right. And yeah. He also said he thought he goes just to let folks know we're not here for one game. Yeah, well, that's good. I mean, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be. You know, I, I think it used to be when you got interviewed and you're in an NCAA tournament, you couldn't say, hey, you know, we're here to win. We want to win it all. You know what I mean? They would look, oh, you're cocky or, you know, too air, you know, too much confidence. Well, this is when you got to have that that confidence in yourself because don't do something if you're not trying to win at all. And so I like that mentality. I, I mean, my message would be, you know, I would definitely cover the details, right? And, and I want to really – and the reason why I want to cover the details is because of the difference between Andy Reid and Kyle Shanahan. Right. Mm. And that and that's it. And that's There's serious. no kickoffs in basketball, Jay. Come on now. <laughs> no, I'm just talking about the rules and stuff like that. I want to try to get I'm going to talk about some detail details to get, get their mind off all the hoopla, because if they go down and grab, you know, a snack, you got the go big red chance and all that. Hammer the details. Tell them to embrace the moment. And I would say this. Don't walk to the fight run to the fight don't ooze right right do not ooze into this game this is a game all that nervous energy you almost gotta almost trick yourself into you know beating it out of your system by the physicality and the steadiness that you're going to play play together um a good team that you know that you you want to hear them right so you want to be defense you want to be doing your thing like that and then after that just let's let everything uh you know you know flow together so I think they're in a good place. Uh, I like, like you know, what they're saying. It's not just talk. They've done a good job of backing up any of the words, and it's been real simple and, you know, nothing to change here. So we're going to take a quick break, come back, put a bow on this first day out here at 68th and O Street, Wings and uh, Wings and Rings. Uh, Jay Foreman, DP Austin, old school. We'll be right back. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. You're listening to Old School with DP and J. Download the mobile app and listen wherever you are on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. This week's specials through March 26th is spend $25 and receive a free 10-ounce New York strip, limit four per visit. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations on 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Spring is on its way. Are you prepared to keep the grass greener on your side? Blades Lawn and Landscape has a position opened at a homeowner association to their client list with residential and commercial openings also. Transform your yard into a private oasis with the professional services offered by Blades Lawn and Landscape, including landscape walls and beds and a five-step fertilizer program applied by a licensed professional. Call them today at 402-730-6320 or go to bladeslcc.com to schedule a free estimate on commercial or residential lawn services. People always ask, what are Jake and Sip like when they're off the air? Well, the answer probably won't surprise you. Hey, Jake, your Honda's looking a little dirty. Says the guy whose license plate is barely visible. I mean, do you even care about that thing anymore? It gets a little uncomfortable. Now, that's when I jump in. Hey, whoa, Mark, did you get a new car? Nope, just took my car down to Nebraska Auto Detail. Joe and the staff made the outside and the inside look amazing. Maybe you guys need to go. Okay, wise guy. Settle down, Jake. Book your appointment today at NebraskaAutoDetail.com. With the Planet Fitness Black Card, you don't just get a great workout, you get a great perk out. Because your membership is packed with perks. For $1 down and $24.99 a month, you'll get perks like access to any of our 2,400 clean and spacious locations. Bring your friend anytime and both work out with tons of equipment that'll give you that big fitness energy. Relax in the Black Card Spa and more. Work out and perk out with the PF Black Card. Join for just $1 down and $24.99 a month. Hurry, this deal ends soon. See Home Club for details. Plains Cover Crop is your one-stop seed shop 
Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 and Orchard in across Nebraska. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a few flurries possible this morning. Otherwise, mainly cloudy and breezy today with an afternoon high around 56. Tonight, a chance of showers. Otherwise, mainly cloudy with a low around 39. And tomorrow, decreasing clouds will be breezy too with a high around 52. Meteorologist Kyle Buck, 93.7 The Ticket, and theticketfm.com. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric brings exciting career opportunities for you or someone you know. They are now hiring plumbers, electricians, and HVAC techs and installers to continually build their professional team. They offer competitive pay and full benefits packages that include health, dental, vision, PTO, and 401k options. Action has created a positive team environment for over 50 years. Apply online at actionlincoln.com. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. If you want to make new floor shopping easier, come to Oak Street Carpet. Hi, I'm Steve Carper. Our flooring professionals can help you choose the best flooring for you, your family, and your budget. We eliminate the confusion. Even better, you'll be enjoying your new flooring much sooner. No six or eight week waits. We'll install right away and save you money on installation. Floor shopping made easy every day at O Street Carpet. O Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Back to old school with DP and J on 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. We're back, quick segment. J Foreman DP, Austin Orman on the ones and twos, putting a bow on 937 the ticket live from Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and O Street. Just because we're going off air, that doesn't mean the party is stopping. It's going to be open all night because the games are playing all night. It's just getting started. The second half of the first round and the first day is just getting started here. Um, DP, Austin, thoughts of the first games of March Madness. Some are still going on. Obviously, we got Texas and Colorado State just tipping off. Uh, but the first games, uh, what, what's your initial thoughts? We just saw Dayton. My, our, our boy Anthony Grant pulled it out, being down 10, five minutes left, dead in the water. Nine, down 19. 19? With 17.50. Yeah. Or seventeen or seven fifteen to go. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the first day or first first half of the first day? Nevada, are you okay? <laughs> no, you saw the dude's reaction. Nah. You okay? You can't. That's a long way from what they in Reno. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. That's a he, long. That's a long flight home. Oh man, he looked at himself. 
<laughs> and he wasn't even the thing is he had nothing to do with it. Right. Like yeah. he just went, did that really did we really just do that? Yes, you did. On national TV in front of the world. Had our worst performance yeah. this season. Wow. Yeah, that 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 hurts. That hurts. Duquesne's history. That's the takeaway yeah. for me. Dayton's comeback is cool. Izzo, fine. Arizona handled business. Carolina handled yeah. business. But Duquesne, first NCAA tournament appearance since 1977. Yeah. Keith Dambra, the ties of LeBron, everything like that. He announces his retirement at the end of this tournament. Doesn't matter. Big ups to Duquesne. I thought BYU was going to come more ready to play. But uh, Duquesne in Illinois is going to be fun. Think Illinois Rutgers when you think of uh, Illinois Duquesne, but I think Day-Day Grant is better than any of the guards that Rutgers has yeah. right now. Yeah, Duquesne might be able to score it on Illinois. If this game gets into the 70s, Illinois wins. If it's 70-something to 60-something, I don't put it past Duquesne. Yeah, I, th- I think today has been pretty cool. I mean, obviously, I think the Dayton victory is, is, is pretty cool. I'm a big Anthony Grant fan. Um, he was a pretty it, good running back. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he was, but uh, the twenty-four bat- inch vertical leap, yeah, twenty-six <laughs> inch vertical leap. That's it. I got him beat. Yeah, I, yeah, I might still be able to get him too. But uh, anyway, the basketball coach has done a good job of quietly taking over a program that a lot, not a lot of people really wanted. He's went up there and made uh, a lot of lemonade out of lemons, and so big ups to him. Um, it's gonna, I'm really gonna pay attention to this Texas Colorado State game. Colorado State was very impressive in the playing game. Texas should have the advantage from a rest standpoint. But I always say when you're playing in this first game, being sharp and getting that out of your system, just by looking at the way Colorado State is just slicing them up, (laughs) slicing and dicing them up right now, look like they are a little bit sharper than Texas. We'll see if they'll be able to get it going. Uh, But anyway, it's the first day of uh, March Madness out here. We appreciate Wings and Rings having us out here and, uh, you know, partnering with us. You know, obviously it was jam-packed. This is Uh, year number five. Yes, and we're going to continue to do it. Make sure everybody comes out here tomorrow. Call in, take a half day. We'll um, do more raffle tickets. More raffle tickets, tomorrow. more giveaways, yeah. um, more ticket uh, personalities we'll out here. Sign Husker jerseys tomorrow. Sign Husker jerseys out here. I we'll got have a some. We'll have some pom poms for for the ladies. Yeah, well, yeah. There you go. Um, all that in a bag of chips. Be here tomorrow. I will tell you this: the advice: do not try to show up at ten. You will be around the block. Get here early. <laughs> Get your spot, get in, take over, uh, sit down and chill. Great service out here, great food, great people, great atmosphere. Uh, Old school, we're going to sign off today, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow.